Hi everyone, this is Anna Dahl. I am going to be showing you a demonstration of how I use a liquid sealant for sealing face-ups and using them as layers in my face-up process. I use the this Liquitex matte varnish, which I bought at Michael's. I use this with a cheap bag of cosmetic wedge sponges. And these sponges look like this. So I've just cleaned this light limner corn head. It's a normal skin. I've just cleaned it thoroughly. I used my Winsor Newton brush cleaner and I also used a Mr. Super Thingy um, bar to scrub out and buff the really tough pigments that didn't want to come out. So Make sure you thoroughly rinse and use a mild soap and thoroughly, thoroughly rinse so that you have everything off, all that Windsor Newton cleaned off, all of the, the dust from that um, cleaning bar. Make sure all that dust is off. You don't want to be sealing that into your face up or in against the, sealing it with inside of the liquid sealant. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got a styrofoam bowl here. I'm just going to pour a very small amount into there so I can dip my sponge in that. I'm going to concentrate it sort of on the edge. First thing, make sure you shake it. Shake well. And then you've got your plate. You can see this um, a little bit came out. I'm going to try not to use that because that was when I did not shake it. So now I've got this and I'm going to just got that little bit right there that I'm going to be dipping the cosmetic sponge in. I'm going to cut this in half using a clean pair of scissors if I have any near me. I can use this. So I've cut that in half. So the idea is you lightly tap this against the surface of the sealant so it picks up a small amount and I actually use both sides and I'm going to smear the liquid sealant against one side of the sponge. Sort of pinching it a little bit so it's round and then I'll be dabbing it onto the face. So let me show you that. I'm going to take this side. I'm going to lightly pick up some sealant. I picked up some glob right there. I'm just going to take the other half and spread it so that it dampens the surface pores of this side of the sponge. Just pick up a little bit more, just get a little bit more wet. Then dab some excess off. You don't want it to be soaking wet. And then spread that. So this side is now damp. You want to be sure to check and make sure you haven't trapped any dust inside the pores because that will transfer. That looks a lot cleaner. So this is damp now. And I'm going to take the blank head and I'm going to tap very lightly if you can see that you can see the the texture of the sealant and you're tapping very lightly you can tap really fast be sure to check if any dust particles have are starting to fall you know from the air or from your clothes. And the sponge, it's very soft. You can still use very light pressure and still be able to get inside these eye sockets, concentrate on the lips, under the chin. So I've got a very light layer there. It's probably very thin because I've been just tapping very lightly and I've been spreading it as I've repeatedly tapped it. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes And you know, the idea is that you're going to keep doing that, preferably 
make an equivalent of what you would call three coats of spraying some sort of aerosol sealant. So this was a very light layer. I would do this another maybe six or seven times, maybe another eight, <laughs> just to be sure. So you have a nice textured, but it's like a very fine textured coating of sealant. I'll be using some toothpicks and some tweezers to remove that bit of dust there. And when I remove that little tiny bit of dust, let me see if I can do that right now. It's very easy when you apply a new layer of the liquid sealant, it won't create, you won't see that, that sort of like scratch in the layer that you've made by removing this piece of dust because the layers are so thin and you're applying a new thin layer, you just build that up and it it sort of um, fills in that gap that was created when you were picking out that piece of dust. So just put some more sealant on this side of the sponge and you, keep, you can keep re rotating the sponge, especially once we start getting into the, when we start sealing in layers of pastel, rotate your sponge, do not, um, always stick with the dirty side or a side that's been used way too much. So that's why it's good to buy a big bag of them, of these cosmetic sponges. I have not tried other types of cosmetic sponges or regular sponges. I've just been using this, um, the white really fine poured sponge for, for makeup. I've been just using that. So I've loaded up some more sealant on this using the same side of the sponge because it's still pretty clean. I'm going to now concentrate on the inner sockets of the eyes under the nose and the lips. You can continue cutting away at the sponge to make a better like tip to get into these harder areas. And it's tapping lightly. You're not trying to smear. Try not to, you know, rub the sponge across the surface of the resin. Just tap, 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 pick it up. Don't move it sideways or up and down across the resin. You're just, oops, I'm sorry, I keep bumping into the camera. You're just kissing the surface of the resin lightly and leaving that slight sponge imprint with the sealant. Okay, so let that dry again for a little bit. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put some more sealant right here at the corner so I can get inside the lips. So I'm just going to wet that area and make sure you don't leave, you see this big glob where it's shiny, where it's very shiny, make sure you spread that so it's no longer a glob, it gets absorbed into the surface. And remember, always check that the sponge is not gathering any dust and that you're not sealing any dust on, on top of the resin. Use a toothpick or some tweezers, let that area dry and then fill in that, that sort of gap you've made by pulling out the dust with with another dab of the sealant. So I'm going to concentrate on the lips using this corner here, just lightly, then under the nose, inside the eye sockets. Now, as you can see, I've got a tiny bit of dust right there by the corner of the lips. I'm going to Carefully use the tip of a clean toothpick. Just try to pick that up. Okay, let me just do an all over. I'm gonna let this layer dry a bit before I start adding my other five layers. I want to show you a complete face up. Whoops, can't bump into the camera again. Uh, I want to show you this face up, which I will be adding, I'll be painting on a few hairs right here and then sealing over that. And I think I'm going to just draw a few more lines into the eyebrow here. And then those are just some touch ups. And I like using this sponge sealant method for this type of work because I don't have to be spraying aerosol on top of the whole head. That means I don't have to re-gloss his lips or re-gloss his eyes. I can just dab 
the matte Liquitex varnish right here where I'll be painting the new hairs and just right there on the eyebrow. Yeah, let's see here. So I'm going to just add, this area's been cleaned off. I've brushed off any dirt, um, so it's basically just sealant. I'm going to put some hairs. I'm just going to paint some light lines. Because I noticed when I put on Milton's wig, you can see some of the resin because I haven't painted the hair as far back as I should have. I've just applied some acrylic paint to fill in a little bit more of the sideburn towards more towards the hairline of the wig and I've added some more lines to the eyebrows so I'm going to let that acrylic paint dry because you want you don't want to be dabbing with the sealant on top of those areas until after the acrylic paint dries of course you don't when you have pastels or watercolor pencil, you don't need to wait for that drying time. But if it's definitely something like watercolor paint or acrylic paint, make sure that dries first before using a layer of the sponge sealant. So I'm going to set this head aside for a bit, and we're going to do another layer on the light limiter head. So once again, take your sponge and wet the side. Make sure there's no dust. So it's wet. Make sure it's damp, not soaking wet, and there's no globs of sealant sitting on the surface. You don't want to smear an entire wet glob onto the resin. So this is all dry, all that those layers we just put in previously. So now I'm going to dab again. might be hard to see but when it's wet you can see the the raised texture and then when it dries it becomes more matte but if you touch it there's definitely a texture for the pigments of the pastel powder to hold on to now remember just tap 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 don't be smearing don't forget to get into all those hard to reach places Good to do as many base layers as possible to protect the resin. Let's, let's drop the sponges. Let's fit this up again. to be putting some eye putty in the eye well so that I don't get any powder from the pastels coming inside the head. Okay, let's put the second to last coat. I do also like this because um, you're, since you're directly applying the sealant to the face, when I was outside spraying sealant, I'm pretty sure a lot of that sealant was getting caught in the wind and not hitting the resin at all, and it was kind of like you were wasting a certain portion of that bottle of aerosol. I'm pretty sure the side of the house, because uh, I, I was trying to spray the MSC or the Volk sealant in, in like an alley area, I'm sure if you go to that alley and you touch the side of the wall where the, the wind generally likes to blow towards, you'll feel a rough patch of like sealant there because I'm pretty sure that's where like all most of the sealant ended up going. So I'm not wearing any um, respirator or anything for this either. I do have my windows open. Okay, 
so that's my second to last. Let me prepare this so I can put my final coat on. Make sure to always check that the sponge is clean. To me, that's very important. You do not want to seal this large speck of dust in the face up on one of the very, very first layers because then it'll be stuck under there. Uh, and then maybe you'll be able to cover it up with the face up, but I prefer not to have to do that. So to me, this method, uh, like I said, I really recommend this if you're new to face-ups. I recommend this if you're just trying to do touch-ups. Um, I also recommend this if you don't have any space, like outdoor space, or a well-ventilated area, or have a respirator. Although I do recommend buying a respirator for this hobby, or for general house use. Anyway, I really recommend that. Um, or if you don't, I recommend this if you don't, um, if you can't get your hands on one of those aerosol sealants. Or if you're very sensitive to those aerosol cans, especially the odors that they emit. So that's my last. I'm going to let this sit for five minutes, make sure that it is completely dry. And then I'm going to start putting on my pastel layers. So I'll see you after I'm done with that pastel layer. And I'll show you applying this sponge sealant on top of the pastels. And I'll show you my method of trying not to smear the pastel colors all together into one blob. So I'll be back.